We all have unhealthy habits that we would like to change. And whether it's unhealthy eating, you know, biting your fingernails, or working so hard that you don't make time to spend with friends or do other things you enjoy, like uh, going on a hike, if that's what you like. To change from the unhealthy to healthier habits, one of the first things you want to do is think about it in terms of what you want to do. A lot of us think, oh, I should do this, but you want to shift from the shoulds to the wants, because when you should do something, it feels like somebody's pushing you into it. Whereas if you want it, you're more likely to kind of reach out for it. And the way to move in the direction of want is to ask yourself two basic questions. First, how is this unhealthy habit harming me? And you want to really think about ways in which you you feel the harm. For instance, if you eat unhealthily, you want to be aware of, yeah, I don't feel so well a lot of times after I eat, or I noticed I gained a lot of weight. That doesn't feel good. You know, those kinds of things. Or if you're somebody who avoids spending um, or focusing on your personal life, spending time with other people, you might notice that a lot of times you don't have people to go out with and you feel lonely. Pay attention to that. So that's the first question. How are my unhealthy habits harming me? Then the next question you want to ask yourself is, how would healthier habits benefit me? And again, you want to focus on how you would feel better. So if you ate a more healthy diet, you might notice that your body feels better. You have more energy. You feel lighter, right? Or if you attended to your need for social interaction and you learn to put work aside, put some bounds around work and get out there and be with friends, you might notice that you feel happier, right? You enjoy the social interactions. It makes your life happier. In addition to being aware of these two questions, Um, to help yourself move towards wanting to change. You also want to be aware of the fact that change is difficult. We have a pull to kind of continue the way we've been going. And by being aware of this, really kind of intimately aware of how change can be difficult, you'll be in a better position to support yourself. You'll have more compassion for your experience, what I would call compassionate self-awareness. So for instance, if you know that you want to be um, ending work at five o'clock so you can make plans to go out with friends, you're going to know, you're going to think about how you have the pull to keep working, just finish this or that. And when you recognize that, then when the day happens, when you slip and you end up working really late or, you know, you ignore texts from friends, you can have more compassion for how difficult it was for you to put that end to your day to do the social thing. With that compassion and self-awareness, you'll find that you can be more supportive of yourself. You'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm not feeling very good about this, but you know, I realize it's hard. I can get myself back on track. I'm going to get myself going again. And that's going to feel good. Without that, you're at risk for really being critical of yourself, beating yourself up for not following through with the changes you wanted. So again, just briefly, to go from these unhealthy habits to healthier habits, you want to move into the wants right? From the should to the want, I want to change by asking yourself, um, how are my habits harming me? How might healthier habits um, help me? How would they benefit me? And then to see the difficulty of the situation with some compassionate self-awareness. If you like this video, please give it a like. Also uh, subscribe to my channel for more brief videos on how to increase emotional health. And please leave comments below with any thoughts about this video or um, other topics you would like to see in the future. Thank you.